In this video, I'm going to be showing you the best game settings and camera settings in EAFC 24. Now, before I start, comment down below what camera setting you use because I want to try different camera settings out. Let's get straight into it. This, I saw a play on Classic for the customized controls. Now, I think a lot of people play that. So, to start off with, on gameplay, I start with competitive. Shot assistance, assisted. Time finishing, on. Now, I think people need to learn time finishing this year because it is so, so OP. Now, it is hard to learn, but once you get it down, it is unbelievable. Passing, through pass assistance, semi. Lob through ball, uh, semi. Ground pass assistance, assisted. Cross pass assistance, semi. Lob pass assistance, assisted. Pass receiver lock, late. Precision pass sensitivity, normal. Defending. Clearance assistance, directional. Defending. Now, this is a big one. I have changed to advanced defending. And the reason I've changed to advanced defending is because in-game, I used to do a lot of B-tackles. And the B-tackles are broken. They end up giving penalties when they're not supposed to. You end up getting red cards when you're not supposed to. So this one is I hold A. And it just shoulder barges them out of the way. And for some reason, it doesn't give away penalties, I don't get the red cards, and also, a lot of the time, it just glitches in front of the other player, so I, I am all for the advanced defending, try it out, and let me know how it goes for you, pass block assistance on, switching on air balls and loose balls, auto switching move assistance, non, right stick switching, classic, right stick switching reference, player relative, right stick uh, switching sensitivity, 5, now I suggest this is another one that you learn because the right stick you can change to any player you want at any given time whereas if you're using the bumper to do it, it, it takes so much time to do it. With the right stick switching sensitivity I have left it on 5, I have tried from 1 all the way up until 10 and 5 seems like it is the best one for me because it's not too sensitive and it's not too slow, it's just perfect. Now. Next player switching, classic, player lock on. Player lock is when you press both analog sticks in and you can change to make a player make a different run than what the opponent in, is expecting. So if you can also learn that, it's a big advantage to your game. Icon switching, I have that turned off because I used to press the analog stick in and it just throws up a load of different things on the screen that you don't need. Contextual dribbling is off. That is what makes your player feel slow if you have it on. Orbit dribbling on. Goalkeeper, save assistant, manual. Analog sprint off. And I have that off because I want, as soon as I press my trigger a tiny bit, I want it so my player is running maximum speed. So yeah, let's get on to my camera settings. The camera settings, I have it on telly. And telly because it is like a tilted camera and that makes it so I can see every single little dribble I'm doing and it helps so much height 20 zoom 0 far side focus 10 now this if you have the ball tracking speed on you are silly because it, it delays the camera tracking the ball so if you have that on anything other than zero get it straight off now all this doesn't matter straight onto the visual the visual, player name and indicator. This is so I can see what player my opponent is using on the ball. So if it's like Son or something like that, or Griezmann, Salah, make sure I close him down as quick, quick as possible because everyone knows the finesse trait is unbelievable this year. So close them down and they can't use that. Player name, that's what I've just been talking about. Indicator size, default. Player indicator fade on play style plus overhead indicators. I have all these off, and the reason I have all these off is because they did put a delay in the game or lag in the game. So I do not want that. So they are off. So make sure you turn all them off. Once you've sorted it, I might put it back on so I know who's got what play style and when it's being activated. Hold to skip off. I I don't want to be waiting. Time and score display on, score clock drop down, off. I'm turning that straight off, it's so annoying. Precision pass visuals off, shot visuals off, 
radar. I know 3D looks cool and everything, but 2D is so much better to read. Gamer tag indicator off, and all these don't really matter apart from connection monitoring. I put ping and connection indicator because then you know when you are lagging or what your ping is going up to it does help quite a lot in game because if you're on a high ping you know not to go for a certain pass when it is high and things like that hyper motion insights overlay turn that off it makes you lag and that is it for all my settings but like i said make sure you put in the comments what camera angle you're using because i do want to try some other ones to see what the best one is so yeah that is all i have for these settings now i hope they do help you and if they do make sure you like subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any video or post and also i have got a custom tactic video that i posted the other day that is insane so make sure you check that out i'll see you in the next video